Despite having one of the most infamous launches of all time, the PlayStation 3 would go on to become a huge success for Sony. Its library is full of classics, ranging from first-person shooters to open-world games and the odd classic that's being remade for today's platforms. So, let's take a look at 15 of the best PS3 games of all time. Killzone 2 Leading up to its launch, Killzone 2 was embroiled in controversy over its graphics, which wasn't helped by Sony's demo at E3 2005. Not only was it an utterly gorgeous title on release, but also incredibly fun. Packed with well-designed missions, challenging enemy AI, and compelling combat. The characters and stories were mostly serviceable, but in all, Killzone 2 put Guerrilla Games on the map as a developer to reckon with. Borderlands 2 Looter shooters have undergone numerous changes over the years, especially as live service models have taken over. But Borderlands 2 is still a fun time, whether solo or in co-op. The story of the Vault Hunters vs. Handsome Jack and their adventures on Pandora are filled with great humor, emotional moments, and most importantly, tons of loot. The sheer number of build options combined with fun bosses and an immense amount of content make this a timeless classic even if the endgame is limited by today's standards. Batman Arkham City Batman Arkham Asylum was a watershed moment for superhero games, and Arkham City went even further beyond. While it expanded past the Metroidvania-style gameplay of its predecessor, the environmental design, the sheer amount of classic villains, Riddler trophy puzzles, and incredible details still make it an open-world gem. This isn't even taking the free-flow combat, which is still stellar into account. Origins and Arkham Knight were pretty good, but the series pretty much peaked with Arkham City. The Eco and Shadow of the Colossus Collection What's better than playing two of the best PS2 games of all time? How about remasters of the same, bundled together in one package? The Eco and Shadow of the Colossus Collection was developed by Bluepoint Games and Sony Japan Studio, and essentially remastered Team Eco's classics. Both games are already incredible achievements in art and storytelling, but play even better with HD support and stable frame rates. Even better is that Eco is based on the European version of the game, allowing one to play through it again and read Yorda's language, or even have another player controller for co-op. Little Big Planet 2 Sony is no stranger to quality platformers. Titles like Cooper made appearances on the PS3 and received acclaim. However, Little Big Planet 2 sought something new. Developed by Media Molecule, this 2.5D platformer offered a comprehensive tool set allowing others to build levels. The aesthetic, music, customization, and sheer power of the toolset resulted in a refreshing game with comfortable atmosphere and solid mechanics. The Last of Us Naughty Dog's perennial classic grounded in the cinematic action-adventure gameplay of Uncharted in an unforgiving, unflinching world. Set in the post-apocalyptic United States overrun by the Cordyceps virus, players controlled Joel, venturing across the country to deliver Ellie, who is immune to the disease. The dynamic between the two, coupled with hard-hitting combat, incredible pacing, and emotional writing, not to mention the telltale sound of the clickers, have stuck with us for a long time. Dead Space With its first game, Dead Space made an impact in a genre dominated by the likes of Resident Evil. The story saw engineer Isaac Clarke exploring the USG Ishimura for maintenance and encountering the nightmarish necromorphs only killable by shooting off their limbs. Its meaty and visceral combat, combined with Metroidvania-style exploration and disturbing horror, still stands out to this day alongside with its incredible narrative. Journey Describing Journey isn't too difficult. It's a 3D adventure with platforming and seamless co-op mechanics. However, the feeling that the experience imbues, from exploring its rich landscapes and becoming immersed in its soundtrack, or meeting a stranger and undertaking this, well, journey together, that's harder to pin down. All these years later, and Journey remains a game unlike any other. Portal 2 For many, the announcement of the orange box for PS3, especially given Valve's notorious avoidance of the console, was huge. And while it remains an essential addition to one's collection, Portal 2 is no less of an experience. The story of Shell and GLaDOS continues but with an expanded narrative and gameplay mechanics, stellar writing, and incredible level design. It even introduced a co-op campaign with its own unique story and fun gameplay. MLB 10 The Show 
Sony's MLB The Show series has always been hailed as the best baseball simulation in gaming. Unsurprisingly, it's held that mantle for many years, and MLB 10 The Show is one of its finest titles. The visuals and attention to detail are superb. The gameplay, especially the back and forth between pitcher and batter, is great. And online play is incredible thanks to the addition of Season League. It's almost enough to make a player a fan of the sport. Resistance 2 As a direct follow-up to Resistance Fall of Man, Resistance 2 offered a much larger scale with massive bosses and incredible visuals. Some of the gameplay changes, like only carrying two weapons and having regenerative health, like Call of Duty, received mixed reactions. But overall, the compelling campaign coupled with the separate co-op campaign, which supported up to 8 players and fun multiplayer with up to 60 players partaking in a skirmish, made it a worthy follow-up. Demon's Souls before Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring, there was Bulletaria. From Software, known for niche titles like Kingsfield and Echo Knight, produced an action RPG unlike any other. The stamina-based combat and brutal difficulty made it tough for some to get into, but those who did would discover compelling lore and incredible level design, coupled with a feeling of accomplishment at overcoming the odds. Though ultimately superseded by the Dark Souls series, Demon's Souls is where it all truly began. Deus Ex Human Revolution Reviving a series is tough, especially when it's an immersive sim praised for its freedom of choice and complex narrative. But Eidos Montreal pulled it off with Deus Ex Human Revolution. As a prequel, it saw Adam Jensen investigating an attack on his employer Saraf, with the espionage and covert operations fitting very well with his new mechanics like a third-person perspective when going into cover. Add in some detailed hubs with lots of stuff to do, extensive customization, and a compelling narrative, and Deus Ex Human Revolution served as an incredible new beginning for the series. Grand Theft Auto 4 Grand Theft Auto 5 remains Rockstar's game's biggest success, but Grand Theft Auto 4 is still worth noting. It kicked off the HD series and took a more grim approach to its narrative with new protagonist Nico Bellic arriving in Liberty City in pursuit of the American Dream. So begins his spiral into crime and violence, backed by improved animations, a more detailed city and NPCs, and better combat thanks to a new cover system. Sure, it floundered in some ways, but Grand Theft Auto 4 remains an incredible triumph for the studio. Red Dead Redemption Red Dead Redemption arrived in the wake of Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto series, but established its own compelling open-world formula. Set in the year 1911, it follows John Marston as he hunts down his old gang members to save his son and wife. The sheer scale of the environments, coupled with new activities like bounties, honor, hunting, and duels reinforced the post-Wild West romance. With an incredible narrative and some great multiplayer, Red Dead Redemption was a breath of fresh air among other open-world titles. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Vault upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, hit that bell, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.